They may not all have fangs or claws, but these creatures are responsible for more human deaths than you'd ever guess. From the deceptively tiny to the obviously terrifying, here are the ten most dangerous animals that pose a real threat to humans. Gentle giants by reputation. Elephants emerge as the tenth deadliest animal worldwide, claiming approximately 500 human lives annually. Their immense size combined with territorial instincts creates a deadly equation when humans and pachyderms intersect. Human-elephant conflicts resulted in 2,853 human deaths over a five-year period, with fatalities reaching a five-year high of 628 in 2023. This growing problem stems primarily from habitat encroachment, as expanding human settlements increasingly overlap with traditional elephant territories. Elephants frequently raid villages seeking food, destroying crops and property in the process. Throughout Asia, an estimated 300 people die annually in human-elephant conflicts. Studies show that villages experiencing more property damage exhibit higher human mortality rates, which correlates with increasingly negative local attitudes toward elephants. In one documented case, a 68-year-old woman collecting water was trampled to death by a wild elephant. Henceforth, when villagers gathered for her funeral, the same elephant returned, attacked her corpse and damaged several houses before departing. Elephants' lethality stems from several factors. Foremost is their sheer physical power. A fully grown African elephant can weigh over six tons with formidable tusks and trunk. Notwithstanding their general non-aggressive nature, elephants become dangerous under specific circumstances. Male elephants experience a hormonal state called must, during which testosterone levels spike dramatically, making them highly aggressive. Female elephants display extreme protectiveness toward their young, perceiving humans as threats. Additionally, stress from habitat loss and past trauma from poaching can trigger aggressive behavior. Human encroachment remains the fundamental cause of these conflicts as elephants and people increasingly compete for diminishing resources. Despite their deceptively calm appearance while lounging in water, hippopotamuses claim ninth place on our list of deadly creatures, killing approximately 500 people annually in Africa. These semi-aquatic mammals prove that predatory intent isn't necessary to be lethal. Merely territorial defense and sheer power are sufficient. Hippos display extreme territorial behavior, primarily in water rather than on land. Males control 164 to 328 feet or 50 to 100 meters of river or 820 to 1,640 feet or 250 to 500 meters of lakeshore as exclusive mating territories. These areas are fiercely defended, as evidenced by the vicious scars many adults carry from territorial battles. Females likewise become exceptionally aggressive when protecting their young from perceived threats. In fact, hippo aggression intensifies during dry seasons when water levels drop and animals become more concentrated. Research conducted during a drought showed higher aggression in evening hours when hippos returned to diminishing pools. Their massive size, males weighing between 1,600 to 3,200 kilograms, and females 650 to 2,350 kilograms, makes this aggression particularly dangerous. Several documented cases highlight this danger. In Malawi, a hippo charged a canoe carrying 37 people across the Shire River, causing it to capsize. Similarly, in Uganda, four people drowned after a hippo attacked their fishing boat approximately 164 feet or 50 meters from shore. Hippos kill approximately 500 people each year, making them the world's deadliest large land mammal. Their surprising speed, 19 miles or 30 kilometers per hour on land, and five miles or eight kilometers per hour in water means victims have little chance to escape once an attack begins. Formidable apex predators of tropical waterways, 
Saltwater crocodiles rank eighth among the world's deadliest animals, responsible for hundreds of human fatalities annually. Indonesia alone reports approximately 1,000 attacks and over 450 deaths in the past decade. Saltwater crocodiles employ a terrifying ambush hunting strategy. These patient predators lie in wait with only their eyes, ears and nostrils exposed above water. When potential prey approaches the water's edge, they launch a violent lunge, seizing victims with their powerful jaws. After capturing prey, crocodiles often perform a death roll, violently spinning to dismember larger animals into manageable pieces. Attacks primarily occur when humans ignore safety warnings and enter or approach water bodies in crocodile territory. Swimming accounts for 39.5% of all attacks and 65.2% of fatalities. Most incidents involve crocodiles between 6 to 16 feet or 2 to 5 meters in length, with fatality likelihood increasing with crocodile size. Saltwater crocodiles possess the strongest bite ever measured in any animal. Studies record bite forces of approximately 3,700 pounds per square inch or 260 kilograms per square centimeter, twice as powerful as a hippopotamus bite. Their jaw strength comes from large skull muscles that feel almost as hard as bone. Despite having 66 teeth, including canines that can reach five inches long, crocodiles have remarkably weak jaw opening muscles. Yet they can move with surprising speed, capable of lunging their entire body length out of water and traveling rapidly on land for short distances. Several factors make saltwater crocodiles particularly lethal. Unlike many predators, they deliberately target humans as prey. Their territorial aggression is hardwired from hatching, making them inherently confrontational. Ranking seventh on our list, Scorpions cause approximately 2,600 deaths annually, despite their small size. These ancient arachnids possess one of nature's most efficient venom delivery systems. With only 25 of the 2,500 known species capable of delivering fatal stings to humans, scorpions deliver venom through a specialized apparatus at the tail's end, consisting of the telson, bulbous structure housing paired venom glands, and the aculeus, stinger. This sophisticated system allows scorpions to regulate venom output, injecting between 0.1 to 0.6 milligrams with each sting based on perceived threat. Remarkably, some species like Parabuthus can even squirt venom defensively up to 3 feet or 91 centimeters. The venom itself contains a potent mixture of neurotoxins, hemotoxins, cardiotoxins and cytotoxins. These compounds primarily target ion channels, disrupting nerve signaling throughout the victim's body. Hence, within a single sting, scorpions can simultaneously affect multiple bodily systems. Globally, scorpion stings affect approximately 1.5 million people annually. Most deaths occur within 24 hours of envenomation, primarily from respiratory or cardiovascular failure. Pulmonary edema emerges as a key factor in fatal cases. Despite their small size, assassin bugs claim sixth place among the world's deadliest animals, causing approximately 10,000 deaths annually. These insects, particularly the kissing bug species belonging to the Reduvidae family, pose a serious threat through their ability to transmit the potentially fatal Chagas disease. The transmission of Chagas disease occurs primarily through contact with feces of infected triatamine bugs. After feeding on blood, these insects defecate near the bite site, depositing trypanosoma cruzi parasites that can enter the body when a person unknowingly rubs the feces into the bite wound, eyes or mouth. Triatamine bugs earned their kissing bug nickname from their preference for biting humans around the face and lips. These nocturnal insects typically hide in cracks of walls or roofs during daylight hours, emerging at night to feed on blood. Most species of assassin bugs are actually beneficial predators that feed on other insects. The blood-sucking triatomine species, nevertheless, present the medical concern primarily found throughout Latin America, the southern United States, Mexico, and parts of Central America. 
Worldwide, six, seven million people are estimated to be infected with Trypanosoma cruzi, with 30,000 to 40,000 new cases and 10,000 to 20,000 deaths occurring each year. Essentially, Chagas disease represents a significant public health challenge, presently affecting populations across 21 endemic countries in the Americas. The microscopic eggs of Ascaris lumbricoids roundworms make them the fifth deadliest animal on Earth, claiming over 60,000 lives annually. These parasitic intestinal worms infect an estimated 772 to 892 million people globally, making Ascariasis the most common helminthic infection in humans. Infection begins when a person ingests fertilized Ascaris eggs in contaminated soil, food or water. Following ingestion, the eggs hatch in the small intestine, releasing larvae that penetrate the intestinal wall. From there, the life cycle follows a remarkable journey. Larvae enter the bloodstream and travel to the lungs. In the lungs, they mature for 10, 14 days. They then break through into the air sacs, ascend the respiratory tract to the throat. Finally, they're swallowed and returned to the small intestine. Once back in the intestine, larvae develop into adult worms. Females measuring 8 to 14 inches or 20 to 35 centimeters and males 6 to 12 inches or 15 to 30 centimeters in length. The complete life cycle from ingestion to egg production takes approximately two, three months. Adult female worms can produce a staggering 200,000 eggs daily, which pass into the environment through feces. Throughout tropical and subtropical regions, Ascariasis causes approximately 60,000 deaths annually. The saw-scaled viper stands forth in our list of deadly creatures, earning its sinister reputation through a combination of aggressive behavior and potent venom. Unlike larger predators, this small serpent, measuring just over a foot or 30 centimeters long, causes more human fatalities than all other snake species combined in many regions. The venom of saw-scaled vipers contains a lethal cocktail of toxins that attack multiple body systems simultaneously. A single bite delivers a complex mixture of hemotoxins, neurotoxins, cardiotoxins and cytotoxins. This viper produces approximately 18 milligrams of dry venom by weight, with a maximum recorded yield of 72 milligrams. Although the lethal dose for an adult human is merely 5 milligrams, these snakes can inject up to 12 milligrams in a single strike. Above all, the saw-scaled viper's deadliness stems from its temperament. When alarmed, it creates a distinctive rasping sound by rubbing its oblique scales together as a warning. Unfortunately, this snake is quick to strike despite this warning display. In addition, their geographic distribution overlaps with densely populated areas having limited access to medical care. Furthermore, saw-scaled vipers remain active after nightfall when most bites occur. Their cryptic coloration, typically tan-brown with whitish blotches and undulating lateral lines, makes them difficult to spot in their natural environment. In India alone, venomous snakes kill roughly 50,000 people annually, with the saw-scaled viper being one of the big four species responsible for most fatalities. Globally, between 81,000 and 138,000 people die from snake bites each year. Surprisingly, freshwater snails rank third among the deadliest animals worldwide, causing over 200,000 deaths annually. These seemingly harmless aquatic creatures transmit parasites. That lead to a devastating disease called schistosomiasis, also known as bilharzia, or snail fever. Schistosomiasis is a parasitic disease caused by blood flukes or trematode worms of the genus Schistosoma. The disease primarily affects poor and rural communities in tropical and subtropical regions, specifically those involved in agriculture and fishing. Currently, schistosomiasis impacts approximately 236 million people across 78 countries in Africa, Asia and Latin America.
The cycle starts when infected people contaminate fresh water with urine or feces containing parasite eggs. The eggs hatch into larvae Miracidia that infect specific freshwater snails. Initially, Miracidia penetrate the snail and transform into sporocysts. Inside the snails, the parasites develop and multiply, producing thousands of fork-tailed larvae that leave the snail and can survive in water for up to 72 hours. Infection occurs when people come into contact with contaminated water during activities like swimming, bathing, washing clothes or farming. Saccharii enter the body through the skin, travel via the bloodstream to the liver, and mature into adult worms. Females release eggs that exit in urine or feces to continue the cycle or get stuck in tissues, triggering immune reactions and organ damage. Globally, the disease ranks among the most deadly parasitic infections, yet receives relatively little attention compared to other tropical diseases. Humans rank second as the deadliest animal in the world, both to other species and to themselves. Our species' capacity for violence, environmental destruction and self-endangerment makes us one of the planet's most formidable threats. Global intentional homicide claimed approximately 458,000 lives in 2021, more than five times the number killed in armed conflicts during the same period. The worldwide homicide rate stands at 5.8 per 100,000 population, though this figure varies dramatically across regions. The Americas face the highest regional homicide rate at 17.2 per 100,000, followed by Africa at 13.0. Conversely, Europe, 3.0, and Asia, 2.3, report rates less than half the global average. Notably, Central America and the Caribbean emerge as global hotspots, with countries like Jamaica recording rates as high as 40.1 per 100,000, nearly eight times the world average. Beyond direct violence against each other, humans have transformed the planet in ways that threaten countless species. Human civilization has caused the loss of 83% of all wild mammals and half of plants. Since the 1970s, human activities have resulted in the destruction of 68% of the world's wildlife. Scientists warn that this sixth extinction event could annihilate many current life forms by the end of this century. Small in size but enormous in impact, these tiny insects spread life-threatening diseases across the globe through a simple bite, you say. Three mosquito genera, Aedes, Anopheles and Culex, bear primary responsibility for transmitting deadly pathogens to humans. The range of diseases carried by mosquitoes is extensive and varies by region. The most spread diseases are Malaria Transmitted by Anopheles mosquitoes, malaria affected 241 million people in 2020 and kills approximately 608,000 people annually, with most deaths occurring in children under 5. Dengue Spread by Aedes mosquitoes, dengue causes nearly 96 million symptomatic cases and approximately 40,000 deaths yearly. Often called breakbone fever, severe cases cause intense headache, muscle pain, and joint pain. Several factors contribute to mosquitoes' deadly efficiency. First, their widespread distribution means nearly half the world's population, about four billion people, lives in areas at risk of dengue alone. Additionally, mosquitoes demonstrate remarkable adaptability. For instance, Aedes has adapted perfectly to urban environments, feeding exclusively on humans and laying eggs in various indoor and outdoor containers. Many species have developed resistance to insecticides and altered their feeding habits to avoid preventive measures. Furthermore, climate change is expanding mosquitoes' reach and breeding seasons. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention considers mosquitoes the world's deadliest animal. According to the World Health Organization, Vector-borne diseases account for more than 17% of all infectious diseases, causing over 700,000 deaths annually. <laughs>